it's what I do. I love being creative. I love, right? I go there and I encounter. We, it, uh, the markets is just a medium. It's just my instrument, right? It's a vehicle. So in many ways, uh, I've invented many different investment concepts that had never been invented before because they just made sense, right? So um, it's not just the making the money in the game as it's structured, it's inventing how the game should be played. That's fun, that's interesting, it's just a natural extension of that. So that's my instrument. The markets are my instrument. Somebody else might have, medicine might be somebody else's instrument. You know, computer technology is somebody else's medium. It happens the same, same way in all of these cases. It's the interaction between that happening and then, then the working yourself back to reality. So Jobs, Einstein did the same thing, right? It's the same process when we're talking about Shaper. It's the same process because you're going from the one side of your brain. You go from, the, from right brain to left brain. You're navigating from concept to, um, you know, imagination to actualization. Brings you from big picture to small down to detail with reality, embracing that reality. So you have that imagination, but then you go back to the data and, the, and, and does it make sense? And do they two, they connect? So it's a back and forth exercise, right? That's how it works. They all have a, a, a passion, a, a determination. So you were, you were hitting on it, that they will drag themselves through um, anything, basically, because they, they just have a need to do that. Um, they learn by making mistakes. They, 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 mistakes are part of the process. Um, they have a love for ambiguity, not a fear of ambiguity, right? In other words, some people love to go into the unknown. Some people hate the unknown, right? Uh, so it's, and, it beca and it's that constant process that they're, that they're pursuing, that act of, they can go from the um, very um, conceptual to the very granular, right? So that they will be very granular and then come back to the conceptual. And they operate in that way back and forth. What's interesting about your, your website is that it's the closest to being able to see these things. In other words, okay, so what do they value? You could probably organize it if you, if you say, okay, so now... What did they value most? I'll bet you that they valued most the things that we're talking about, right? The things of, um, in other words, reality, looking at reality, appreciate the, be the beauty of reality, the understanding of reality, a passionate desire to understand how it works, right? The determination, then the shaping, the, the desire to affect it. Okay, so... If you categorized, went through the interviews, tagged them, you probably could say, okay, what did they value? And then how did they go about it? Right? What was necessary? For example, people are running in uh, a group of people. You could distinguish between them. People who are running a group of people like Steve Jobs is running a group of people. Some people can do it in a lab and not run a group of people. Einstein did not have to run a group of people, okay? So he would do it his way. But then if you you can categorize them, let's say General Powell. If you take General Powell, he had to run a group of people. Okay, now how did he run a group of people? The people who ran a group of people would not let people stand in the way of their goals. So they were a certain way with people. They were, they were tough. They would cut through people, meaning recognize people's strengths and weaknesses and deal with those strengths and weaknesses. So unlike a lot of people who, would, who may be worried about, um, I don't know, offending people, they, wouldn't, they won't stand, let offending people or cutting through it stand in the way of getting to the goal.